Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the last rec lecture in the pelvis and perineum series. We will be discussing the male external genitalia. So let's go. The male external genitalia uh, are the penis that uh, that's, uh, has an attachment with a root and a pendulous body. The root of the penis is three bodies, the two cruri and one bulb, uh, cruri on the sides to the ischiopubic rami, and the bulb in the middle attached to the perineal membrane. Uh, they are made of uh, erectile tissue. The two cruri extend to form the corpus cavernosum, and uh, corpora cavernosa, I mean, and the bulb extends to form the corpus spongiosum with the erythra, uh, uh, in it. So the erythra runs in the corpus spongiosum part of the penis. Remember that. The body of the penis, the two corpora cavernosa, uh, they have trabeculae inside uh, from extended from the tunica albuginea covering. Uh, these uh, these trabeculae, um, you know, transforms the inside into cavities filled with blood in erection. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, the corpus spongiosum extends distally as a glans penis, as you can see here. The glans has a corona, and it's covered by a piece of, of skin called the prepuce, uh, containing smegma, and this is the piece of skin that's removed in circumcision. Uh, lower down, and the glans is the frenulum, the same like the uh, clitoris at the base of the glands and it's highly innervated so we have the corpus spongiosum corpora cavernosa we have the uh, corpus spongiosum extending into a glans penis with a prepuce and a frenulum uh, two ligaments attaches uh, the penis uh, the fundiform ligament we talked about that with the anterior abdominal wall as well as the suspensory ligament of penis from the pubis to fascia penis covered by the fundiform ligament the fascia of penis the first we have the skin then the superficial fascia the superficial fascia containing the superficial dorsal veins uh, of penis that drains into superficial veins the tunica albuginea itself is two layers one layer that surrounds all of the corpora of the penis and another layer that surrounds individual corpus cavernosum and spongiosum uh, and contains the deep dorsal uh, uh, vein of penis and the dorsal artery as you can see here remember that so it's a superficial dorsal vein in the superficial fascia while the deep dorsal vein and the dorsal artery and nerve of the penis are within the tunica albuginea, the, the, the deep fascia of the uh, penis. Um, uh, there's a deep artery of penis, uh, you know, running in each corpus ca cavernosum, and there is a spongiose artery that runs in the corpus spongiosum, and this will be the blood supply of the penis in cut section. As you can see it here, this is longitudinal section. See, it comes from the internal pudendal artery. Internal pudendal gives the inferior rectal from the posterior end of the pudendal canal, supply anal muscle and skin. The perineal artery leaves near anterior end of pudendal canal gives transverse perineal and posterior scrotal this is in females artery of the bulb see that the artery of the bulb pierces the bulb and continues as the spongiose artery to supply the corpus spongiosum and the erythra there is also a erythral branch deep artery in corpus cavernosum and dorsal artery on top of the penis and they all anastomose uh, together. Uh, see that? This is the pattern of supply of the penis. Now what happens in erection is, is the blood uh, uh, rushes inside the penis. This increases the pressure inside. This will be, uh, there will be pressure on the superficial veins. They will be, the blood will be trapped in the penis and erection is maintained. 
veins, uh, there are superficial dorsal veins, superficial and deep external podundal, uh, podundals drain, to grains, uh, to gra drain it to great softness vein. The deep dorsal vein drains into the prostatic venous plexus. Uh, uh, in such case, in, in, in uh, congestion of the prostatic venous plexus leads to hemi-erection with weak erection of penis. Lymphatics, the skin of penis and scrotum uh, to superficial inguinal lymph nodes, the glans penis to the deep inguinal lymph nodes, and the erectile tissue to internal iliac um, uh, lymph nodes. The nerve supply comes from the pedundal nerve. It has an inferior rectal branch in the, in the canal to the external anal sphincter and lower half of the anal mucosa. It has a perineal branch that uh, runs below internal podundal artery and gives posterior uh, branches, scrotal branches or labial branches in females and muscular branches. Uh, it supplies the levator and and the external anal sphincter. There is also a dorsal nerve of penis lateral to the artery uh, within the layers of the fascia of the penis. Now the autonomic from prostatic plexus, there is a lesser cavernous nerve to the corpus spongiosum and greater cavernous nerve to the corpus uh, uh, cavern, corpora cavernosa and these um, uh, are responsible for uh, erection they arise from the prostatic nervous plexus or nerve plexus parasympathetic for vasodilation and erection sympathetic for vasoconstriction scrotum it's a cutaneous fibromuscular sac uh, containing testicles hanging down between the legs uh, in the anteromedial aspects of the thighs. Uh, layers of the scrotum are the skin, uh, the skin which is thin and pigmented, uh, uh, thrown into folds and roger. It has glands and a rafe in the middle with the center continuous with the ventral penis and anus. The dartus muscle, as you can see here, which is continuation of the campus fascia, external spermatic fascia, cremasteric fascia, cremasteric muscle, internal spermatic fascia, and uh, all the layers are present in the septum except for the skin. Okay, these are the layers of the scrotum. The blood supply of the scrotum by external pudendal. Uh, from the femoral by internal podundal by cremasteric of inferior epigastric artery. The veins uh, 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 travel with the arteries, lymphatics to the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, the nerve supply, the anterior part by L1 through the ilio inguinal nerve and genital branch of genitofemoral nerve. We learned this when we studied the course of the ilio inguinal nerve. And the posterior part of the scrotum is by S3, by scrotal branches from the podundal and perineal branches of the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve. This concludes our talk about the male external genitalia. I hope this lecture was of maximum benefit to you and thank you very much for watching.